A mother has hit out at Michigan cops after her 11-year-old twins were handcuffed at gunpoint by officers Juanita Ligon says her boys who are African-American were racially profiled during the incident on August 26 in Grand Rapids Police body camera footage shows the brothers, Martrell and Martres Costin, 11, and a 17-year-old male family friend, being cuffed Grand Rapids Police is investigating, but Chief David Rahinsky defended his officer's actions while responding to a report of juveniles with a handgun Each boy was briefly handcuffed and searched all of the boys were later released without being charged after no guns were found Share this article Share cops were initially dispatched around 8 p.m. after receiving a report of at least two black males around the age 13 with a handgun, according to the Grand Rapids Press The report said one boy was wearing a red shirt and the other a black top when officers responded, they found the Costin twins and the 17-year-old, who is also black about half a mile away Coincidentally one was wearing a red shirt and another black shirt In the video, the boy in the red top can be heard crying as officers explain what's happening We was going to Little Caesars, the 11-year-old says through tears we was coming from home Following the incident, Ligon wrote on social media, OK Grand Rapids I need someone to lead me to the right agency My 11 years old boys were racially profiled by officers placed in cuffs and guns drawn This nonsense has to stop Thank God they know how to respond to officers, but they still was afraid Rahinsky told the Grand Rapids Press, what you see in the video is the officers quickly de-escalating the situation As the youth policy states, the officers used the most reasonable and least restrictive measures consistent with public safety When the allegation is someone has a firearm, the response has to be appropriate Once officers learn that's not the case, the youths are unhandcuffed within a minute, their grandfather is contacted, and I think the conversation that ensures shows the officer's compassion in explaining what happened and why Rahinsky said the 17-year-old had a prior criminal history. Lagan requested an internal affairs unit review, which is ongoing